All right, so here in Illustrator, there's two layers. The background layer I have is currently locked. I'm gonna put everything on my layer one like usual. So let's go ahead and get uh, an ellipse tool and a stroke only. Turn the fill off. The stroke I'm putting as the color white and it's a one point stroke. I'll hit hold option and shift and just drag out a perfect circle on screen like so. And um, what I want to do right now is go to my uh, my knife tool, right? It's If your eraser's up, um, just click on it and get the knife tool. Always make sure that your window toolbars advanced is checked right there. So advanced toolbar, get out of basic, go to advanced by going to window toolbars and advanced. All right. So now that that's out of the way, I want to go ahead and use that knife tool. So I've got it on screen here. We're going to cut up this ellipse tool a little bit and um, apply some text and warp it. So I'll just create one little section there, one section here, and finally another small section right there. So actually I don't like that bottom one just because I have experience with this and I think that the way I created that would be kind of a problem. So there we go. That should be fine. I've got uh, four sections. So there's one, two, three, four. So I'm going to put uh, four words total. So one in each section, uh, one here, one here, one here, one here. So let's get our type tool out and um, I'll just click on the screen. The font I'm using is font spring demo, but you could use uh, whatever uh, favela semi bold two is what I'm using, but you know, it's just an example just practice warping text it really don't matter what you select. So I'm going to put uh, learn Adobe Illustrator now as the text and it's a black font uh, color if I want to keep that that way I can but I'm gonna change it to like something like that like teal blue whatever that is and um, next with our text currently selected this is just in one big text box basically right now we want to um, go to our type up top and we're gonna create outlines alright so after I've created the outlines I need to ungroup them. So now you can kind of see like these letters are able to be manipulated individually like that. And I'm going to place them in their sections now. So let's just take the word learn and put it in its little section there. Adobe, put it in its section here. Illustrator, we're probably going to have to shrink this down a little to uh, I'll hold shift to keep the formatting intact and not squashed and stretched or anything so there is a little um smaller type but it really shouldn't matter in the end in just a moment you'll see what i'm talking about but um so there we go now we gotta like kind of warp these along each of these individual um like sections that we created so i'm gonna select each letter holding shift and clicking on one just because it's easier for me to get it that way and I want to, with this word selected, right click and arrange, send to back. Or you could just go object, arrange, send to back. All right. So now that's technically behind everything. I want to, with it currently, with this word selected, I want to hold shift and click on that top section. And now that I have that, um, let's go to object. Both of those are selected again. Object and then envelop, distort and then make with top object. So you can see it takes that word and like stretches it out basically along that little shape that we cut. All right, so I'm gonna do the same with the next word. Adobe is selected and I wanna right click it, arrange, send to back. All right, you could use a keyboard shortcut, but honestly, I don't for that particular um, feature but let's go ahead again with that selected and sent to back click on that section with the shift key so everything is selected the adobe word and that little middle section i guess and then uh object envelop distort make with top object and there you go you see that so again we're going to select illustrator for this next one send it to the back arrange send to back with it selected hold shift to get that section and let's once again go to object envelop distort make with top object there you go 
And finally, the last word at the bottom is now. So we've got it all selected. Send to back with it actively selected. Click on that last little shape that we cut up object, envelop, distort, make with top object. There we go. So we created some warped text basically based off of the initial ellipse and the little cuts that we made. Um, I can group this if I want to move it easier, copy and paste it. And maybe I want to just, uh, let's see. I just recolored the um, copied text and I'm going to, I could place it in the front and just like nudge it over with my keyboard uh, arrow keys. Uh, if I wanted the other color in the front, just again, arrange, send to back. I guess like along with, um, you know, learning how to warp in this lesson, the arrange features kind of showcased a lot here. So just a few um, quick, easy little techniques using the knife tool, making an ellipse again, and learning how to, you know, create outlines and ungroup them to be able to manipulate the words allowed us to warp this text in a unique way that's pretty customizable. So hope you enjoyed this tutorial and um, stay tuned for the next one. Got a lot coming down in the next couple of weeks. So should have some Photoshop stuff up soon and be looking forward to that. Subscribe if you can. Peace.